What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, Ant, and we are checking out the Attitude Years Season 2. We're covering WWE Raw is War from April 5th, 1999, live in Long Island, New York. And last week's episode of Raw was insane, so I'm hoping this episode is just as good. We start off with the tag team titles on the line. The champions Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett with Deborah taking on the newly formed team of X-Pac and Kane. Kane came to X-Pac's defense at WrestleMania and last week on Raw. So these two are going to team up. We start out with a cool leaping clothesline from X-Pac to Jeff Jarrett. Owen and Jarrett nail a double clothesline to X-Pac. Kane hits a flying clothesline to Jeff Jarrett and takes control. X-Pac nails a Bronco Buster to Jarrett. Kane nails a choke slam to Jarrett. And then Kane tosses X-Pac on top of Jeff Jarrett. And we have new WWE Tag Team Champions in X-Pac and Kane. Next, the Corporation come out with Shane McMahon. They laugh at the video of the Corporation attacking Stone Cold Steve Austin last week. Uh, Shane says, Big Show, tonight you're taking on The Rock and Triple H. Triple H says, Big Show, you should change your name to No Show. You're going to see The Rock and Triple H kicking ass together tonight. The Rock says, I want to check Big Show into the SmackDown Hotel, even though you will you will even though you will break the toilet seat. The Rock is the best champion ever. Shane has the Rock put the title on his waist, the Smoke and Skull belt, and then they freeze frame a picture of the Smoke and Skull title. Shane says that Stone Cold Steve Austin will never get his title back. We then see Shane going to Vince's office. Vince is sitting in there with Stephanie. Vince tells Shane to take it easy. Don't provoke anyone and to chill out. And we'll see if that happens. Ivory comes out next. Ivory says, PMS, is it always that time of the month for you? Jacqueline, you're tough, but Terry is a little crisp with a big mouth. You try to burn my face. I'm begging for you to come out fist to fist. Terry and Jacqueline then come out. Terry gets in the ring. Ivory pulls off Terry's shirt. The Ministry of Darkness come out, and Undertaker says, there will be a sacrifice tonight. A beautiful woman will become one with my ministry. There's nothing Vince McMahon can do about it. Vince then tells Stephanie backstage to relax. He will be with her all night. We then have the Hardcore Champion, Hardcore Holly, taking on Al Snow with Head. This is a decent match. Hardcore nails a delayed suplex, gets a two count. Al ends up getting the win after a snow plow. After the match, Dr. That Steve Williams attacks both Hardcore Holly and Al Snow. Shane then has the Smoke and Skull title shown on the Titan Tron again. We see the Undertaker backstage whipping Christian after Christian revealed where Stephanie McMahon was last week. This is his punishment. We have the New Age Outlaws taking on Edge and Gangrel next. The Outlaws get the win after all men fight outside. Christian comes down, and then the Road Dog tosses Christian into the ring, and Billy Gunn hits a fame master, and that was it for that match. Stone Cold is with Jim Ross. Stone Cold says, the only reason I had the belt made was to piss off Vince McMahon. If Shane puts the title up again, it will cost him a lot of money. Ken, Ken Shermock is up next to take on Viscera. Before this, well, the match happens, and Ken Shamrock nails a belly to belly, but the Ministry come out and attack Ken Shamrock. Viscera splashes Ken, and the Undertaker watches on the stage. Ministry carry Ken Shamrock off. Shane McMahon tells the corporation to stay backstage because it could be a trap. The Ministry puts Ken Shamrock in a trunk, so Ken Shamrock is being abducted here by the Ministry. We have Mankind taking on Val Venus next. Mankind applies the Manable Claw and he has a double arm DDT and then applies Mr. Sacco and he gets the win here on Val Venus. Next, we have the Intercontinental Championship on the line. The champion Goldust with the Blue Meanie taking on the Godfather with his hose. Both of these men fight outside of the ring and end up getting dub a double disqualification here because they couldn't get back in the ring. Vince comes on the phone. The lights go off and Stephanie screams. The Ministry brings someone and straps Stephanie to the Undertaker symbol. Or they grab somebody and strap that person to the Undertaker symbol. We think it's Stephanie, but we see Stephanie and Vince watching backstage. Undertaker says, this is not the young girl I want. She'll have to do for now. Soon you will be one of us. When I touch her skin, I feel you, McMahon. 
It's time she became one of us. We have to answer to a power for far greater. She is a chosen one. Stephanie, it's time to come home. Undertaker has Ryan Shamrock. She's the one strapped to the symbol. Then she yells at the TV to stay away from Stephanie McMahon. And then that ends that segment. Shane McMahon comes out for this next match. We have for this next match. We have a handicap match here. The Big Show, Paul White taking on Triple H and The Rock with China. Um, Big Show slams Triple H hard into the mat and nails a big boot. Shane distracts the Big Show and China nails a low blow. After the match, Triple H, The Rock, China, and Shane attack Big Show. The Rock hits the Big Show with the smoking school belt. Stone Cold Steve Austin makes the save. Big Show choke slams Triple H. Shane puts the title on the Titan Tron again. Big Show, then a crazy scene, pulls down the Titan Tron. Stone Cold cuts through the Titan Tron with some kind of like metal scalpel thing. Austin and Big Show share a bear. And Austin sure did cost the McMahon family a lot of money by tearing down that Titan Tron. Another dramatic episode here on Raw. We see Ryan Shamrock put on that symbol. Ken Shamrock kidnapped. We're seeing Austin destroying Vince's pre and Shane's property. Shane McMahon taking the helm. A lot of stuff. Backlash in your house is a couple of weeks away. I'm excited for that. Until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.